Hey guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang gang? Very clashy. I have no idea what got into me. Actually, I do know. It's one of those days that like, I want something different, something different. So my makeup is a little bit wacky today in my hair, but it's all good. Uh, so I just actually uploaded my last video about two hours ago, three hours ago. And, um, you know, I told you, I asked you guys if you guys could comment back and tell me, you know, so we could communicate. And a lot of you said, yeah, 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 do your mukbang diet diary. So I'm going to give you an example today how it's going to look, okay? So if you like this video, then again, read the comment and communicate with me that way. Yeah, okay. You know, because sometimes... Oh, and last video, I was talking to you guys about the silent viewers. Well... <laughs> And um, I actually got a couple comments from the silent viewers. I guess you're no longer silent viewer because you commented, but it said, silent viewer here. Watch all your videos, can't be silent any longer. <laughs> Love you, Mommy Tang. I got quite a bit of that. So I figure, you know how this is for the Tang gang? For the silent viewers. That's our code, okay? Every time I do that, it just means, I see you looking at me, you know what I mean? I see you, I see you, you know? I do that too, I'm like, you know, sometimes when my kids don't behave, like in like a strange place, there's a lot of people and they don't behave, this is the code that I have towards them, like, I'm like, yeah, I have the look. Kale says I have the look, I, ha I do have that look, like. <laughs> but of course, I'm gonna take this away because that's not what I feel for you guys, I feel. You know what I mean? But this is too, I don't know, it's, uh, I feel too manly when I do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. It's one of those things like, you know, when you meet a guy, something like, yo, what's up? You know, I could, I could imitate them, but I can't really do that to somebody. Like when I meet somebody, let me like, yo, what's up? You know, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Silent viewers, okay? Um, somebody also said, yo, Korea, oh, wait, I have to find, somebody also said, all the vegetables grow so weird in Korea, <laughs> I guess they saw the pickle one, I don't live, you know that, I don't live in, uh, Korea, I live in US, okay, watch this one. You tell me that's not weird. To me, that's very weird, okay? Last night, my mother-in-law called me and she said, Jaden on ma? That's how she calls me. It means, Jane is mommy, you know? She says, Jaden on ma? And I said, Naomi, it means, yes, mother, you know, mother-in-law. She said, I have something for you. Come and meet me, and then stuff like that. So I went to her house and she made me this huge jar of this pickled uh, Cucumbers, oh, you just wait till I show you the recipe on that one. But anyway, she gave me a bottle, then she gave me this, and she said, oh, make sure you make something yummy with these. And I said, thank you. What are they? They're zucchinis. You know the long zucchinis that you see? Her friend, I think, grew it and gave it to her, but they let it go, like past the long stage, and then they end up <laughs> getting really fat. <laughs> Look how fat they are. They're supposed to be the long zucchini. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to eat this on my little mukbang diet diary journey that I'm going through. You know that, right? I already lost like three pounds. <laughs> How's that possible, Mommy Tang? Well, when you first go on a diet, because you change your diet like almost like dramatically kind of thing. Not dramatically, but because you like take away whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's possible to lose three, four pounds first couple of days, which is really exciting, you know, you just have to keep it up. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna eat today, okay? Why is it that every time I do mukbang, there's a lawnmower guy here? I'm about to fire him right now. <laughs> he doesn't work for me, nor it's for my house. God. Do you remember our whole theme till I go on vacation is eat something healthy? So 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do to my vacation so I could go to vacation and eat whatever I want and feel not so guilty. Is that me, mommy, saying you're gonna eat everything healthy? No, I'm gonna eat something, you know, maybe a cheat meal here and there, but it's gonna be here and there, not everywhere. everywhere. Even Kayla gets that one. Okay, so some of you might be like, ooh, that's a weird looking zucchini. Well, you could use any zucchini for this. This is like Korean zucchini kind of thing. My nose is so itchy. You know, it's nothing special. It's one of those zucchini that you could find the long green ones. You, I, I use them all the time for this recipe. Just, you know, I told you I had this. Just cut them very thin like so. Look how big that is. Oh my. It's like the one of the big family giant. <laughs> Yeah, some people find me very annoying. They're like, you do stuff that's not even funny. I'm all sorry. Okay, so you want to get your heat on medium high. If you don't want to use oil, you don't have to, you know? You don't have to. I'm just going to because I don't want it to like. And I'm just going to use a paper towel to just clean, kind of rub, you know, just get the oil off. You know. And then you just. Oh. Gotta wait. Love that sound. Not the more man. Remember I told you if you go on a diet you have to eat very simple. Do you hear me? I hope my mother and I hope my mother in law doesn't get mad that I ate this for my mukbang instead of like sharing it with everybody in the family. Oopsie. Why would she get mad? Because she probably wants she probably wants daddy to eat half of too. You know what I mean? Oh gosh. So you're not doing anything special here. You're just gonna grill it. If you want to use, you know, a grill, you know, the grill fry pan, or if you want to barbecue it outside, that's fine too. Now let's make some sauce, the dipping sauce. That's what makes it beautiful here. Clean soy sauce. I have show you here. Reduced sodium. Some coconut sugar. Some gochukaru, aka Korean hot peppers. You could skip any of the ingredients. You could just use soy sauce if you want to. If you don't have lemon, just use vinegar, you know? Just a little bit, not too much. Ooh. Save that for like lemonade or something. Mm, let me see. Are we done yet, Mommy Tay? Of course not! Protein, protein, protein! Mm. <gasps> that extra two sesame seeds is good for you. And this is a sauce, you guys. 
I will be eating this with bowl of rice, some mother-in-law's white kimchi. I'm not sure, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna reach for that. I'll tell you why later, but I go with my chopstick. Ooh, flip this baby over. Flip it, flip it. Oh, see, see how they stick? If they're too thin, they'll stick. Oh, I like that one. That one was nice. Ooh. And again, like yesterday, remember the uh, my my husband's daddy thing stance gave me the cucumber kimchi. This kimchi, once you make, you gotta finish it within like, I don't know, four or five days, within a week. You know what I mean? Oh, look at all this juice. Oh, some people don't really make it with juice, but she does. Um, and you could drink it like. Oh my god. Oh. Is this oh. Oh. Woo. Whoa. Woo. That's all I could say. Whoa. I only have a few left. I'm kind of sad. I think it will last me just for tomorrow, and that's it. I'm gonna take three out. Oh, the juice. I gotta eat the juice again. I only have two more left, guys. Or three. Oh. Are you ready for the food point? So good. Mm. Uh oh, I burnt this one. Oopsie. I eat it anyway. the one that makes everything magic go put on top of your rice oh yeah mommy mommy <gasps> can't do it too hot Oh my gosh, it's so simple that it's crazy. You know what I mean? How can simple stuff be so good? Oh my god, guys, I'm telling you, it's so good. Like zucchini try this it's not the zucchini you could use any zucchini like i said it's the sauce okay 
soy sauce, vinegar, lemon, a little bit of sugar, some chili flakes of cream, perfectly cream, but and sesame seed. Sesame seed! It's everything. Good. if you like it. You gotta be honest. How oh, was? How is it? Is it good? Mommy? Is it one to ten. Go get mm. some this and that. One to ten. One being so bad. Ten being outstanding. I love it a six. No, no, it's six, six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah. I mean, if you're not a zucchini lover, then of course you're not going to find this yummy. But if you don't mind zucchini or if you love zucchini, you're just going to fall in love. I gotta be a little bit classy today and drink this off. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how that tastes like. I can't. Other than just it's amazing. Mm. I feel like I'm having a little party here. <laughs> Remember, it was like a huge piece. It's almost done. I never really liked zucchini either growing up. I think it's like one of those foods that you start liking when you get older, maybe? I don't know. I never liked mushroom either, but I love mushroom now. Oh my god. Woo! Break from the hotness, the cold water, ice water. Oh, it's like oasis or something. Ooh. Can I have some rice with it? Oh, this is why rice is important. Because if you want to eat vegetables and if you don't have any rice or potatoes or some sort of carbs, it's just hard to eat just vegetable and get full, you know? In my opinion. Ooh. Oh, look at this big one. I must eat this one. I mean, I love mother-in-law kimchi and everything, but when you make homemade kimchi, it's just like, I can't compare. Mm -mm. Especially it was like made by like, you know what I mean? Elderly, authentic woman.
I even forgot about my topic today. Oh, it's like I'm in like the zucchini world right now, you know what I mean? Mm. I was doing cardio this morning and I th said to myself, I should talk about this at mukbang, you know? Now, I'm not a trainer, definitely not a trainer. I don't have the best six pack, four pack physique, you know what I mean? But, whoo. I did have personal trainers before, a couple, you know, a couple, couple times in my lifetime. One, two, maybe three times. I don't know if they're just telling me because, you know, they want to kiss my ass or anything like that, but they all told me I have such a great form when I work out, you know? I always say, am I doing this correct? And they're like, yeah, your form is great, you know? I really believe in that. When you wear a nice dress, person A is slouching, person B is all standing up tall, have really good posture. The person B is gonna always gonna look better than the person A. Same with sports. Golfing, think about that. Person with, I don't know how to golf, but person with perfect or proper form is going to Play better than the person that don't know the form is just hitting the ball, you know? Same thing goes for cardio. Very, very, very true for this. And I I know this because I because it worked on me. It might not work on you, like I said, I don't know, I'm not a coach. I'm not a, you know, but I could say. I'm gonna give you an example, okay? You're on a treadmill. We all know what treadmill is, right? Person A, okay, is running like this. It's almost like you're running away from treadmill. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you're running away from the treadmill. You know what I mean? Your jaws are relaxed, your arms are relaxed, your shoulder down, your arms are like droopy and you're like... <laughs> you could do 10 minutes of doing that, but person B, who runs with a t good posture, is going to get a better workout than the person running like that. I have no idea. Maybe there is a program that explains this but it's like that for everything in life and it goes for working out cardio when you do aerobics right at home you know how in 10 minutes you start off doing like <laughs> like this you start off like this and then like you're into maybe 15 minutes and you're tired your body is tired your breathing is like <laughs> like this and your whole your mind is like you're fighting your mind back saying like oh my god I want to stop, I want to stop, no, I could do it, I could do it, no, stop, it's okay, it's okay, no, I could do it, that moment, right? And then your, your whole body becomes like this, you know what I mean, if you're doing, let's say, punching, they're like, <sighs> just getting through the workout. If you do that, I really don't think you're going to get better workout than the person Doing with the form, with the proper form, you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? I can't really say this in a proper way. I can never, you guys should know me now. I can't explain things well. God, I have no idea sometimes why I'm on YouTube explaining things when I can't explain things. Crazy.
I do home workout at home using T25 Insanity, Max Insanity, so any, any workout program, you know? And they always say, core, it's all about the core. First month or so, I have no idea what they're saying. I was like, what's the core? What's the core? You go to Pilates, you go to yoga, you know, they always talk about the core, core exercise, the core, core, you know? I think the core really comes from your within, you know? Of course, the core, what they mean by it's like, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the belly area and stuff like that, but it comes from within. For example, when you are, this is what you need to do, okay? This is what I do. I don't know. Take it or leave it. Before I do cardio, right? I stand in front of the mirror. This is why sometimes it's, especially if you're doing this at home, no one's watching you, you know what I mean? So wear something tight, maybe a sports bra and even underwear. Sometimes I do that. Stand in front of the mirror, okay? Get your front view. Look at yourself. Nice and tall, shoulders back, you know, stomach sucked in. You know what I mean? You turn around, you do the same thing for your side. You to stand tall. You know what I mean? Your stomach sucked in, your butt maybe stuck, sticking out your butt a little bit. I don't know, whatever you, whatever you need to do, okay? And remember your body when it feels like that. Now when you do cardio, you keep that posture with you. Do you understand? Let me just show you a little example. Even when you're doing the jumping moves and stuff like that, a lot of times you're focused on moving your arm, doing this way, okay? And you're not even like focused on anything else except doing this. This is not gonna get you anywhere. Oh, it's gonna get you somewhere, but not fast enough. You want to get places fast, shortcut. This is a shortcut. I'm trying to teach you what to do shortcut, okay? Your, your chest tight, your shoulder back, your stomach sucked in, and then you do this, like that. Do you see how it's different from doing this? It's, you know what I mean? You get so much more workout than when you're just Duh. I do this for everything I do at the gym. When I do lifting, of course I have huge, you know, that's all, a lot of times when I go to the gym, I see a lot of girls working out and stuff and they don't have, I mean, they're doing the arm thing, you know, they're doing their pull up, whatever, they do workout. But their posture is all off. I don't get that. Their posture is very important. You know? I mean, if you already have a perfect posture, then don't worry about it. You know, just do your thing. But most likely, not everybody has a good posture, you know? So posture really matters. When you even do lifting, instead of just like your posture is like this and you're lifting your, your weights, you know how sometimes this is weights, you know, they just do this. But if you have posture, like posture is correct, and then you do this, you'll get better workout, core. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I want to share today about cardio. Even when you're running, when you're cycling, think about your posture. Don't let go of your posture and like let it sag and Mm. You know what I mean? It's like almost like you're running on, you're running from sweat or you're running from your breath. I guarantee if you try to do that, you'll know what I mean. Like when you go to gym today, think about your posture. Especially when you do cardio, when you do aerobic, when you do Zumba, anything that you like to do. Just do it. Nike has been telling us for years, just do it. That's like their best advice. Just do it.
Okay. I am so full. I am. I have a whole bowl of rice. Now kimchi, cucumber. Do you remember the big zucchini? This is all I have now. I'm full. But it's one of those things I can't stop. It's like, I'm full, but I want to eat more, you know? After mukbang today, I'm gonna take my kids to the pool and probably, I don't know, I'm gonna probably take fruit with me, some fruits, and maybe, I don't know, my, I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes I get green smoothie, but they mess with your green smoothie, you know what I mean? I asked for a green smoothie, not a like artificial sugared up smoothie, but definitely I am very full, so. I think I'm good to go. But you know, I'm gonna have some snack probably between now till dinner. But like I said, remember, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but, oh, that was a little too much. Um, You have no idea when kimchi juice of kimchi goes in your system, it's like. I can't explain it. It's, it goes in just psh, and you're like oh. Koreans we say oh 너무 시원하다 너무 시원해 미치겠다 미치겠어 That's how Koreans say it sometimes Well, I doubt not many Koreans say it but I say it like that Some of my Korean viewers Man, they leave me some funny, funny, funny comments, you know? I love it. Is this spicy? Yeah. Get off it. Mm. Oh. The best part about this diet is that you eat till you're satisfied and you're so full like this but tomorrow when you wake up your stomach is nice you know your face is nice your scale says Choo, you know like down I feel good don't forget to uh, tell me in the comments if you like this video Okay, so now I know. Because you know, always, number one is always good, but you could, there's more, you know, there's, there, it needs improvement, you know? And this def definitely needs more improvement. So maybe I'll come up with a better idea. Like, for example, my vlogs, when I started my vlogs, right? Everyone's like, oh, it's nice. Then the second vlog, everybody wrote a comment saying, wow, your vlog skill is getting better. I love the way you vlog. It's it's you're getting so much better. That was that was it, you know. I don't know how you guys feel about my vlogs now. I don't get that much comments like that. Like your vlog skills getting better. Or this is getting better. I don't. I'm not. I don't get comments like that. But because you guys do still watch me and you guys do comments, I just feel like maybe my vlog is getting better. That's what I'm just assuming. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, and that's how it's gonna be with this. Mukbang diet diary. It's just gonna get better, I think. Let's hope. I'll see you guys later, okay? <sighs> see the rest of the zucchini? It's inside of me now.
the first thing I have in the morning, tall glass of cold water, because you know you've been sleeping and you need to hydrate yourself. So this is a very very good way to start your day, of course. And I take supplements. It's different for everybody. You really need to find out what you need. Then I do my workout. Woo! Finish my cardio at home. Do your cardio at home if you can't go to the gym. Woo! Look at all the sweat. My first meal of the day, I'm going to have green smoothie. Um, this is like ugh, awesome. Two bananas. Then I add some cold water with some ice. I like my smoothie really cold. Then any type of vegan milk, about half cup I say. Then vanilla extract just for the vanilla sweet taste I guess then any type of green I like spinach because it does give a little bit of creamy um, texture to the smoothie I really like it and look how much I put it in there I put a lot in there like as much as I could like a lot And then you simply blend away. Now if you want to, you could add some chia seeds or hemp seeds, some sort of, you know, clean fat in there. It's just good stuff all around. Here I go. Mukbang for you. And obviously, you know what I had for lunch. <laughs> and I didn't have any snack, but I did go to the pool with my kids and I ordered salad. And Daddy Tang on his way, I asked him to pick up some rice. So I had plain rice, maybe half a cup or so. And um, that was my dinner. Now, the salad that they gave me, I had uh, garbanzo beans and greens and mushroom and all that the sun-dried tomato was drenched in oil so I, I didn't put any dressing on my salad but that's pretty much it that was my day oh yeah i had tall glass of water on top of that <laughs>